Okay, uh, welcome guys. In the previous video, we were looking at how to uh, append files from parse and uh, and text uh, into our arrays here so that we can start working with. So we query parse, we appended them into that, and that is looking awesome. So I'll get rid of this print right here. Now, the next thing that we need to do, I don't know if I really need this, did memory receive warning? The next thing I want to do is grab some function now to populate the table, to populate the table with data. To do that, we're going to need some helper function uh, from uh, the UI table view delegate to work with the table. So click on command and then hover over the UI table view delegate. That is command and then hover over and then you can click. I mean, as soon as you do that, uh, it opens uh, functions related to the UI table view delegate. So what we need here is uh, two functions. Now the, num the one the one we need here is called number of rows in section. And not that, but there should be a second one that we are looking for. So it returns an int. This is the one from the data source right here, UI table view data source. Then we hit back right there. And then we come and paste that function there. That's it. So this number of rows in section means how many rows should we create on, uh, you know, like we have one, two, as you can see, three at the bottom. So how many rows should we create? That's what uh, this does. So it returns a number, an int, and in this int we can say 10, that means 10 rows, 20, 20 rows. But in this case, we want to return the number of what? The number of files or the text, we could use each. But it's good, it's appropriate to use the number of files because this is a mandatory to be uploaded. If you use a number of text, we're getting a miss because some people don't upload, uh, like we said in our upload statement, some people can go without uploading our text. So in this case, it's good to use the one that is required. And we're gonna say image files dot count. So the number of image files. So create the number of rows depending on the number of image files. That is good. I like to put comments like this table view begin or something all right and the next thing we need is another function called uh, head back in here and command F to search and then this is cell for row at index path so this is what we are looking for. And it returns a UI table view cell. So copy that and then head back and then paste it in here. And make sure you include the F if you didn't copy that. Now this one returns a cell and it's going to complain right away that there's no cell. So as you can see here, it must return a cell. So let's go ahead and create <coughs> uh, our cell cut to see of the single row cell that we created right here, right? This is the file. This is the single row that we have, the single cell. So let's go back to the home page and say, let's create a let because we want each cell to be unique. So it's let, and this is going to be, uh, uh, I'm going to call this uh, my cell. We could just say single cell. And this is uh, a single row cell. So which is equal to table view dot DQ resource with identifier. This one right here, the first one that uh, does not have for index, but we're going to use this one. Okay, let single cell create a single cell. And then we call table view dot DQ cell reusable uh, cell with identifier and the identifier here is the identifier that we give the cell so let's uh, click on the cell and we give it an uh, we didn't give it a user reusable identifier so let's go ahead and give it right now and we are going to say my single cell or something like that copy that 
just make sure it's in there. Yep. So I come here and I replace that. And then I say as a single cell. Single single row cell. And I believe we need to. Okay. So here at the bottom I will return a single cell. Nope. The one right there. The the single yeah. So we return that and the error goes away. But this is not enough for us to populate the table because still we have a lot of work to do here. Now, after doing this, we now uh, have something, as you can see here, we have something called index path row. So index path row means the current row that we are in and uh, counting rows starts from zero. So this row is called is row zero, row one, row two, row three, row four. So it's, uh, it's just the index of the row. And that's, it's useful here as you're going to see right now, because now I can say single cell dot. And as soon as I say dot, you can see, and I say image. Okay. There is a problem here. It's supposed to work. Hold on. Oh, it's, I call it Swift Gram Image View. That's why. <laughs> so what I do is I come to the single uh, cell dot Swift, and I, uh, you know, I have this image view and the single cell for the single. You know, you remember that pretty much. It's straightforward. So they're here. I drag them there. So let's start populating those single uh, rows by coming back to the home page here and a single cell dot Swift. As you can see, it's just auto completed right there because it's available and it's a UI label. Dot text is equal to the text that should be populated there is image text is equal to image text. But which image text? Though? Because we have this is an array of image text. We want an array. Or we want uh, uh, this index, right? At uh, what index? Index path dot row. So remember, this returns an integer of the current row. So image text zero image text one is going to do that respectively we're going to do that for the image as well but we're going to look at a different approach of uh, get converting the files uh, because they're still in binary data and we're going to convert that into uh, an image so I mean this is still in uh, what do you call it by um, bit uh, bits and bytes and we're going to convert it into an image so let's run this for now, I don't think it's going to work because I'm missing something important here and I want to bring it to your attention. As you can see, there's nothing that gets populated here because of one thing that I always miss and it bothers me so much. And this is it. Reload the table. See down here after populating the table, after appending and querying, we need to reload the table. So we say, self that we got that dot reload reload data and I believe this should work and whoops we did not get any data that is because I missed something and I cannot even really tell right now Yep, so that is what we get sometimes. My single cell. Hmm. Okay, just again, uh, let me go check the docs and I will be back. Oh, I think I know why. It is because you see now there's one very important step that we should have done early and this is the table view 
we need to connect the table view and say where the data source is coming from and the delegate. So, well, we have a delegate here, but we doesn't we we don't we don't necessarily point to what it uh, should represent. So it should represent this one right here. So we pull that table there, and that home page uh, view controller should be responsible for data as well. So we put that as a data source. This should work. If it doesn't, I don't know, <laughs> but this should definitely work. Or I think I'm gonna crush this computer. Yes, so this worked finally. So there we have it. So we have the nice waterfall and the data populated there. So we cannot populate strings. How about images? So let's look at that in the next video. So thanks for watching, guys.